you're doing everything in your power to achieve the numbers you want to achieve by the end of this year you are creating so many different offers you are doing so many different things and yet you are not where you want to be have you ever just sat down and wondered why you see today i'm going to share a story with you which is really 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 close to my heart uh, and it gives me hope every single time i need it it makes me believe that things shift fast if we just start doing this one thing that i'm going to share with you by the end of this story and this is a story of a very famous guy uh, known for the word 100 million dollars and you guessed it it's uncle mozi right so if you do not have any idea about his story how he came to be where he is then make sure you pay very close attention to what i'm going to share with you because i can promise you this by the end of this video you're either going to get a big epiphany or at least you'll be like Phew. okay so uh before i share the story um i wanted to say this make sure you're paying very close attention to every single time alex hits a success in this particular story right there will be three to four points so make sure whenever he hits success pause the video and then just anticipate what made him successful okay deal all right so let's move forward if you know alex then you know that he is a fitness freak right he loves the fitness industry and at the beginning as well from being very young he was into fitness right and as a fitness freak would do he started a gym to why not just help people get fit right i know it's obvious and when he started a gym he started to figure out different ways he could fill up those gyms with um, members right of course in order to make money and grow the gym he would do that so he cracked a method and then what he did was after going deeper and deeper and deeper he started opening up a new uh, gym and then he would fill out the gym uh, membership from day 1 he opened up another one and again filled out from day 1 another one filled out another one filled out so five gyms he opened up all of them absolutely sold out in gym memberships from day 1 now what did th- what this did was it attracted a lot of attention right from people from different gym owners that this kid was uh, like figured out a way to fill up a gym from day 1 right and he was invited to speak in a conference and at the time alex thought um he his stuff was not valuable okay he he thought like i mean what i'm going to share right so he was uh, he was supposed to come to this conference and speak on the topic on how to advertise to fill up gyms and um, he created a presentation he came to speak and uh, just because he thought it wasn't valuable and people wouldn't want uh, like people wouldn't see the value in it he rushed through the presentation as fast as he could and then uh, towards the end what happened was it uh, was really the opposite of what he thought all the people like almost all of them came rushing to alex after the conference was completed and he describes it in the book and i'm sharing this whole story from his book 100 million dollar leads so 100% go get this book right and he shares this that he has never had this kind of rush uh, in his life right and um, he has done a lot of big events okay so a lot of people came rushing to him and saying that his presentation was amazing nobody was saying this before and all of that stuff right and they started asking him hey alex do you have something to offer as we really want to buy and at the time alex didn't have anything to offer because he was just doing his gyms right but an idea popped up at the end of the day like when he went home an idea popped up in his mind what if i did have something to sell to these people and 3 months later he he brought that to reality and he created this amazing offer that i'm going to share with you okay so i'm reading word by word from the book on the offer that he created this is the original gym launch so he thought like why not just uh, if i can do this for myself i can do it for others right other gym owners and i can help them fill their gyms as well so he created this offer i'll fill your gym in 30 days for free you pay nothing i pay for everything I sell new members and keep the first 6 weeks of payment of membership fees as payment. You get everything else. If I don't fill your gym, I don't make money. You spend nothing either way. I mean, if somebody sold me that and I was a gym owner, I would definitely buy it. Right because it's not costing me anything. I just have to be there, right? 
and let him do the selling. So when he did that, uh, he started crushing it. He was flying to different states in the US um, and offering this service to several different gym owners. He was getting calls from people to come up, fly to that space, uh, fly to that gyms and really fill that, fill the, those gyms out. And it was working like a wonder, right? But what he thought to himself that he was just making a small pie, a small piece of the whole pie, right? And the gym owner, was taking the long-term profits from whatever uh, members he was uh, bringing to the gyms, right? And he wasn't making a lot from it. So what he did was, like, he thought to himself, why not just partner up with the, these gyms and I will be making more money? So at that time, an opportunity came to him where he partnered up with this one person who agreed to do a 50-50 agreement where he would he would look after the staff and Alex would look, look after getting gym memberships, right? Like selling gym memberships. And it was working great. A lot of people came to the gym. He did his thing. He did his magic. And leads started flowing, flowing in. People started buying the gym membership. It was running amazing. Until one day he woke up. Alex woke up just to find out there was nothing in his bank account. What happened was like his partner, um, his partner filed a complaint that he was trying, Alex was trying to steal the money from him and he ended up losing all the money that he had profited and made because he had to invest a lot of money into it. What he didn't, uh, what he didn't think before this was that the partner that he was working with, with didn't have a lot of money. So Alex invested all of his life saving inside of this gym because it was a 50-50 partnership, Alex was doing 100% of the expenses. He trusted the other person and then the other person uh, filed a complaint against him saying that he was stealing money and he lost all the money. It was a terrible point, right? Uh, Leila came to him, who, who is her, his wife. He came, she came to him and said, what do we do now, right? And he said, I do not know. So she said, Gym launches are still working, right? Where you fly to different places and uh, you go out and fill the gyms. That is working. So let's do more of that. And Alex agreed. So what he did was Alex started spending $3,300 per day to fly out to the, those gyms and start filling them out on advertisements, on car rents, on rentals where he would stay and on flight tickets and all of that stuff. $3,300 per day he would spend to go out to these gym launches and start doing it. Until one day... Again, at night, Leila woke him up and said, we are losing, like these people started uh, charging back. What happened was like he, he saw, like Leila came to, her, came to him with a phone and said that they showed him the negative money, the chargebacks of all the people who paid to join the gym membership of the, peop of the gyms that he flew to right now and filled up the gym. What happened was two of those gym owners um, said, like literally stood up in their uh, in a chair in their gyms and said, refund, ask for a refund and I will sell you the gym membership at half the price, right? Alex filled out the gym. He got all the money. And this and these gym owners that he partnered up with, like and who, for whom he did the gym launch, asked his members to ask for a refund, do a charge back and get all their money back so that they can buy the membership at half the price. And when he woke up, he did the numbers. Leila told him that they had $150,000 in debt in the charge backs that they had to pay from their own money, right? And they had just hit a 30,000. 30, they just, in the last month, they made $30,000 in profit. And in the third month itself, all of this happened in three months. And uh, they started getting all of these chargebacks and they started losing uh, a lot of money. At one point, they reached a point of $150,000 in debt. So they had to, they had to pay that $150,000 bill themselves. These gym launches, uh, th these gym owners screwed him, right? And this was a really hard time for him and he didn't know what to do. And then what happened was like Leila woke up the next day um, and as it was midnight and they were like really worried what to do. Leila woke up the next day and she got a coffee and then she sat down. When she sat down, uh, she started doing a call. She called a person and um, started selling this weight loss program that she was selling at the time at $199 or something or $300, right? And he, she was doing that. She sold the she sold the person, 
and um, she got the three hundred dollars, right? And then Alex asked him, "Hey, what are you doing? Right? What are you selling?" So she said, "I'm selling this weight loss program that I have been selling, right?" And he and he said, "What what if we just um, remove the middle person and sell direct to consumer, and we sell it at four ninety nine?" And she said, "Do you think that would work?" And he said, "Yes, it would work." And um, they started doing it, and in one day they collected around eight hundred dollars um, in cash, right? When this happened, he did the math. He did the math on um, like um, how many people he would need to start selling in order to make one hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? So he thought of getting like ten salespeople, and he would they, each one of them uh, would need to sell at least. Eight eight salespeople, and each one of them would need to sell in at least one thousand um, dollars in revenue every single day in order for them to meet the mark, like hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? So they started doing that, and then Leila asked him, "Hey, what about the gyms that you were going to fly to um, over the next months, right? Because you had all of these people lined up to uh, get that gym launched." So Alex said that I would just call them up and say no to them because I cannot fly over there again because we have a huge debt to cover, right? So Alex did a call uh, with this gym launch person, gym person that he was supposed to do the launch for. He called him up and he said, "Hey man, I'm really sorry I cannot uh, come up uh, to your gym and sell your memberships. I am like, um, I'm we are changing our direction to weight loss. We are going to we are directly going to go there that route from now on." And this person said, "Hey man, I just refinanced my house and I have maxed out my credit card uh, just for this gym launch. Like I, I do not have any other options but to launch this gym because I have a huge credit card bill to pay, right?" And this, by listening to him, he said that, "I mean, I do not know. I'm really sorry that you're in that position, but I cannot help you at the moment." And he said. Um, hey, what can we do? What can we do to make this work? Can you at least just show me how this works, and uh, I will be able to do it myself? And he said, "I mean, I don't know if I would be able to do that, but I mean, uh, I can put something together, and then I can just show you how uh, how to get the leads. But I I'm not flying out over there and doing this whole thing for you." And he said, "Absolutely agreed. Everything is on me. I'm going to do it do this on my own. Just, but please just show me how to get these leads." And what he did was he said like okay so I I will put something together and I am going to send send it over to you right and he said okay how much how much for for you to just tell me how this thing works and he said he at the point he was very frustrated with how things were going and uh, he just threw a number to scare the other person right just scare the gym owner and he said like six thousand um, dollars yeah, that he would save right and um, he just said that and the other person said six k and he said. Yes, six k, six thousand dollars to scare him off, and uh, the other person said six k. Okay, yeah, that works. And he was surprised, and uh, the other person, the gym owner, um, uh, ended up giving him his credit card, which he would charge later on. He got off the phone, and he was absolutely surprised. This person paid him like six thousand dollars. He got the card, and at the time, Leila was on a call, on a sales call. So she uh, like um, what he did was he charged the card and six thousand was a success, right? So he made six thousand dollars, and then and Leila came and um, he said he said to her, "We are still in the gym business." She said, "What do you mean? Like we were doing weight loss?" And he said, "I just sold a six thousand uh, dollar stuff. Like we do not have to fly there. We do not have to do anything but just do our coaching." Like I, I just show him how this thing works, and she said, "Wow, right?" So when Alex started figuring out different ways to reach out to other people, and he thought, he thought like if this is working for one person, what if I call the next gym member, like gym owner that I was supposed to fly to, and ask him, like if he would want to do the same. He called the next person. He gone through. He went through the exact thing that he did in the previous one, and he said like instead of six thousand, he said ten eight thousand. And that person said yes. The next one, ten thousand. That person said yes. And like just like that, on a single day, he made around sixty thousand dollars in cash collected, right? Uh, by simply doing this. And he was absolutely amazed on what happened. In that year itself, he ended up making six point eight million dollars. The next year of his coaching business, he made around a twenty, a twenty-five, twenty-six million dollars with a seventeen million dollar in profit. In profit, he made um, just from selling his coaching business. Now, all of this 
to say this imagine what would have happened if alex focused on flying to the gym and doing these launches along with selling his coaching program even if like both worked at the time right both worked if he had done both while having leila sell the weight loss program rather than this a coaching business now what leila did was like uh, she, uh, she, they had uh, her friends like they had her friends uh, start selling for this so she, they started they, they started selling more of their coaching programs much 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 faster so they had leverage right to go from like um, 100000 to 1 million dollars like 2 million dollars a month by simply having more people in more sales calls uh, more more sales people in the thing right they were doing the sales calls now imagine what would have happened if leila and her team were doing weight loss alex was going still flying to the different gyms and alex was still doing focusing on selling his coaching programs because all of these things worked none of this success would have happened now if you noticed what happened over all this time right all of this time the way he went from 0 dollars in profit even when he was making 100000 dollars per month to making 17 million in profit in the second year of his coaching business is by simply focusing on one thing one offer one system right the first success remember the first success that alex holmes he got um, was from the gym launch that he did right of his own gyms and when he did that he was very successful because he cracked one offer which was filling up uh, which was gym memberships one offer and the system was to fill out the gym with his system gym launch system the second time he got successful was when he flew out to different gyms right um uh, he flew out to different gyms and filled their membership and his offer was what i will sell i will do all the selling for free you do not pay for everything i pay everything remember that uh, offer right so he had that one offer and he had one system which was flying out to that place and actually doing this whole thing right he got successful the third time he had success was when he just focused on selling the coaching program he stopped going out now i forgot to tell this one part where he was flying out to different um different members like different gyms all over the state he sold his own gyms because he wasn't able to do both of that at the same time right so when he did the uh, going uh, flying out to different states he was only doing the flying out to different states he wasn't focused on doing his own gyms okay so the third time he got successful he just focused on selling the co- selling the coaching program that he had, he had got that he had spent years to figure out the way just sell the knowledge just sell the coaching program with one system which was sales calls okay you see if you're thinking about uh, doing webinars you're doing offline events writing books selling services and also so many different other things you will end up doing nothing but dividing your focus your focus into all of these different ways right when you're doing multiple things what you're not realizing is that you're losing the time in figuring every single one of those things out you have to make that book perfect that event marvelous the webinar highly converting you're focusing on you're focusing on all of these different stuff you're investing the time to crack each one of these methods out what this is doing is not only costing you time but also a lot of money right a lot of money imagine cracking one offer and one system you could scale to 100000 dollars per month in just the next 2 to 3 months by simply focusing on one offer one system right you see the first thing you need to focus on is what you want to sell right what is it that you want to sell decide that first is it a 20 dollar book where you make 5 dollars in profit and to make 100000 dollars in profit you would need to sell at least 20000 of those books a month you can definitely do that you can figure out one way you can go with the book funnel you can sell 20 20000 invest a lot of money on ads and you will be making like you will be able to sell 20000 dollars books a month eventually right or you want to sell a 10000 dollar premium value offer to just 12 to 15 people right and reach 100000 dollars per month in profit now this premium value offer is your coaching program right why not just have a coaching program where you do not have to invest a lot except in advertising uh, your stuff right you focus on that your profit margins are very very high and then you will be reaching 100000 dollars per month by simply having 12 to 15 people say yes to your offer 
right? And I'm not talking about having one price point. You see, I have already talked about uh, packaging and prices in one of my videos. So you can go ahead and watch it over here. But I'm talking about one pro program that serves as one offer. You can have different timelines at different price points. Let's say three months, uh, you're going to have it at 10,000. Six months, you're going to have at 15,000. 12 months, you're going to have at like 25,000, anything of that sort. I'm not talking about packaging. I'm talking about having just one offer that you are focusing on, right? And once you decide what you want to sell, the second thing you need to crack is the one system to sell that one offer, not 10 different ways just one system either it's one-on-one -on -one sales like Alex did or it's one to many sales right where you go ahead and present your offer soft sell your offer in front of everybody whoever wants to buy they buy if they do not want to buy they do not buy as simple as that right now let me tell you both work like I'm not even kidding either one of them like one-on-one -on -one or one uh, one to many can help you easily scale to five million dollars per month easily and I'm not even kidding. I have hundreds of examples I can give you. But if you're good at uh, getting selling people on calls and you have fun doing that, having conversations, by all means, get an appointment funnel and start generating more and more and more and more appointments. To get 15 sales, 15 sales of your premium value offer, you need to book 100 calls a month, right? As you will lose some people, um, in the show ups, not hundred people are going to show up on the call, right? And then you're going to lose a few people um, that you have conversation with. They do not qualify for your thing, right? So you're going to lose a lot of people in there. So out of hundred people, you're only going to be able to sell to 15, right? Now imagine if you want to scale that to like 15, 100, like 100 sales of, co of your coaching program every single month that will take you to a million dollars, right? Now, if you want to scale to a million dollars, then you would need to um, like get on like more than 1000 calls or something in order to sell those 100 tickets, 100 um, premium value offers, 1000 calls. If you can get a sales team to do that for you, 100% focus on that one method, one system, right? But, you, if, but if you want to have a system that creates your most ideal clients, even if they are not qualified, I already made a video that you can watch, right? And you can watch it over here. But think about this, whatever you're making right now, every single month, you subtract that number from the next goal you want to achieve, whether it's $100,000 per month or it's $1 million per month, whatever amount is left after you subtract it from that goal, that is what you're paying life every solitary month just because you lack this one thing, which is focus. One offer, one system.